In this video, we're going to learn about measures of variability, another form of descriptive statistics that people often want to know in addition to measures of central tendency. But before we get to any of the nitty gritty details, I want to kind of motivate why we need measures of variability with two examples. So here's two different data sets, one on the top and one on the bottom. I'll just go ahead and tell you that the mean for both data sets is 87. Now, if I were to just tell you the mean of these data, I would be misleading you a little bit because in reality the situation in each data set is quite different. If I were to plot it out, for example, you would see this difference clearly. In the top data set, all the scores are very clustered together. Everything is close, but in the bottom data set, scores are very spread out. So again, I need some way to quantify these differences, and a measure of central tendency like the mean simply can't capture that alone. Here's another example. Let's say you're working for a pharmaceutical company, something like that, and you need to decide between two different medications for depression. We'll call them medication A and medication B. So let's say you did a study where you measured how much improvement happened when people took one over the other, and this is what you got. So let's say over here that higher scores mean you know, more improvement and lower scores mean little to no improvement. Well, let's kind of compare. The means in this case are the same. In both cases, people improved by about 10-ish points or so, but the variability is very different. On the left, some people benefited very greatly, whereas others really didn't benefit at all. But on the right, everyone benefits a good amount. In this case, I would personally pick medication B because it's more consistent. And so this is an example of why knowing the variability might help us to you know, make some real life decisions. So in general, in statistics, measures of variability are ways to describe these differences statistically. They describe how scores in a given data set differ from one another, and they capture things like how spread out or how clustered together the points are, things we've been looking at already. So there are three that we're going to talk about. We have the range, standard deviation, and variance.